Yeah. Uh, you ready? Yo, you know what it is. Uh, we got another episode, Blasey Network, $20 million podcast. And today we have a guest that I personally been excited for and I've been waiting for. We have the one, one, the only, the 448 Reek. <laughs> welcome to your, welcome to the show, bro. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you, man. Um, what's up with you? Sunday morning, rainy day. What you what's up with you today? Football. That's Football. It. That's oh, you already it. bet today? Yeah. Who you bet on? I bet with the Bills. Mm-hmm. Steelers, that's my team, of course. Steelers? Yeah. That's your team? Oh, yeah. oh, hell no. I'm a Ravens fan. Yeah, I'm a Steelers fan. The heart. <laughs> yeah, you might have to. <laughs> <laughs> the heart, You should have told me that before the interview. It's like I'm playing. But uh, do you, did you bet on like anything specific? Like you parlay or you just bet on them for the win? Man, we're going to be all day talking about them parlays. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be all day. I, 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 I bet on the Ravens today. That's the only team I really bet on. Yeah, they're going to beat the Colts, man. Hell yeah, shit. you think so? Hell yeah. They said the defense out injured and shit. So. Man, y'all looking good right now. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. So hopefully this this day turns good at the end of the year. But um, talk about what's up. How was your week so far? Man, you know, everything, everything, man. Yeah, I just came back from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything, music good, life good. I can't complain. How was Atlanta? What did you do? You shoot some content out there? Uh, I was well. I don't really be on. I be just trying to live. Like mm-hmm. when you, you enjoy been, the moment. Yeah, nigga, okay. be stuck here so long. Be getting away and enjoy my time away. You know. What's your pay, what's your favorite places to travel to? I like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Yeah, that's nice. I keep doubling back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I went when I was like a child, so I really don't remember that much. That See, I'm the fire. I'm the stereotypical nigga. I haven't left Baltimore in a while. I, I go to I go to DC. I go to mm. PA. I don't. I fought with DC. I fought with my guys up DC. Uh, mm. I like Philly too. Oh yeah, Philly hard. Yeah, Philly. I was up there last year. Philly fire. Yeah, I fuck with Philly, man. Mm-hmm. Uh. New York, I always. I'm, that's like my second home. I'm always out in New York. You know? I, I, I can't be in New York, man. It's either you walking or you paying hella money on Uber. Oh, when you get used to it. See, I black truck everywhere. So okay. when you get used to it, like how the city is, you mm-hmm. just be like, this shit fire for real. Yeah, I'm not on black <laughs> truck level, guys. <laughs> I got some work to do. A couple more episodes, probably. <laughs> uh, what, what school did you go to? Where you grow up at? I grew up in McCullough Homes area mm-hmm. where I started Westmont, Rosemont Projects, that area. That's mm-hmm. where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Well, I grew up in the McCullough Homes area and, you know, back and forth. Both. Talk about growing up in the, in the projects. Man, that's all I knew. I ain't, I ain't, never, I never had a house with a porch ever. Damn. I ain't never ever had a house <laughs> with a porch. It's always been the projects, like up until now, of course. But, uh-huh. man, it's tough, man. Shit. It show you some shit. <laughs> like, yeah, I believe you. My, my, me personally, I was a baby when we was living in the area, but my, but we, but I definitely heard the stories. Yeah, man, shit. It teach a kid how to be a man. Mm-hmm. Like, it show you some shit, you know. But so, what high school did you go to? I went to I went to Newtown, mm-hmm. out Orange Mills. I put out Newtown. Went to Digital Harbor. Then Newtown let me back, and I went to Newtown. I was a basketball star too. Oh yeah, yeah. Hell I yeah. saw you come in. You look like I can see you know. Don't you know you can tell it. A hooper can tell a hooper yeah. by his legs. I was like, this nigga got a jump shot on him. Yeah, I'm a basketball. I was a basketball star. I just, you know, life. Unfortunately, you don't play no more. No, I don't know. Is there a specific reason why? I'm struggling so long, you feel me? Like <laughs> time to do some other shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. Um, talk about what type of guy were you in high school? I was a cool kid, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I never did too much. Was you, was, you, was you doing the jerk? What that mean? You don't know the jerk, the dance? You a jerk? I oh, no. Nah, hell no. <laughs> I don't have no dance. You lying, bro. I, I, I was killing that shit. I was the <laughs> nigga you was laughing at. <laughs> How old you here? I'm 23. I'm 20. Okay. Yeah, we wasn't really. I wasn't dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You the younger crowd, mm, technically. I was, so, yeah, y'all was the niggas definitely laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what school you went to? Um, I went to Woodlawn. Oh, well, I ain't too far. He's Baltimore County. Yeah, I went to Woodlawn, then I went to uh, Pikesville, got kicked out of mm-hmm. Woodlawn, got kicked out of Pikesville, all the terms, you know, <laughs> you know, I was a bad nigga. 
I don't know. I just I just love weed so much in high school. I just had to bring it to school for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure, man. Um, talk about when you when did you start rapping? I started rapping like a year and six, seven, seven months, a year and seven months ago. Mm. It just it's recent. Yeah, I, I just started for real. Hey. You never was like rapping, like beating on the tables or nothing. No, never? I ain't really like music. Mm. Damn, you never like music? No, not for real. It's just like. It wasn't nothing else for me to do, so mm-hmm. I tried it. I ended up being good at it. it no, you, you are <laughs> good at it. You're not being good, you are good <laughs> yeah, at it. Yeah, for sure, man. I fell in love with it, slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. Like, the grind. I'm into the grind. Like, anything I do, I'm a grind hard. You're into like, the hustle. Yeah, like, you, you, yeah. You, like, like Big Sean said, I feel better when I'm at work. Yeah, that's what do it for me. Like, mm-hmm. the hustle, it don't matter what I'm doing, selling waters. I'm gonna try to sell the waters at the best. I can sell the water. Mm-hmm. I can, I'm gonna try to learn the water game. Like, you feel me? What's the best water to sell? Like, I'm yeah, gonna study yeah. that shit. Like, that's that's hard. how I am with that shit. Bro. That's how I went. Um, how? Tell me about the grind. Like you said, you you, st- you started a year or so ago, and you just started grinding. Tell me about. I know you did. I know you didn't start rapping a year ago, and then and then uh, Roddy Rex wasn't posting you the next day, telling me about you the <laughs> artist. So tell me about that process. Tell me about some of the key moments that are come up. Since since last year, so you man, should remember that. Man, coming up, it was like my first song, like I posted it, that shit went crazy. So mm-hmm. I already was anticipated to be good, like mm-hmm. my first song. It just because of who I was in the streets already, you know, like you know is that, how is that, is that is that is that to the four four eight thing? Yeah, but that's just that was my name. That's a nickname. Well, what given. type of nickname is number? You gotta explain this to me, man. You gotta be a special motherfucker to have a number <laughs> no nickname. <for> real. <laughs> Tell me about getting four four eight. What is that? That just symbolizes what we do outside, like in our hood. You know, four four eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm the biggest four. Right. Show them up. Yeah. The biggest four. The biggest four. Okay. Yeah. Um. You, you don't. It's not no. It's not no story about why you got the came came up with the name particular four four eight. Nah, I can't really. Oh, you not you don't want to talk about no, that. I can't really okay. give it. Like, let's get back to the music. <laughs> yeah. Um, when is talk about talk about what was going on, what was going on around your life when you started rapping? Like, what like talk about what what made you want to start rapping? Like, what was going on around in around your life? I was like, yeah, out of high school. Mm-hmm. I was a like, yeah, out of high school. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't, I I thought about going back to school. For mm-hmm. basketball, cause I still had it. I didn't know what I was gonna do, so shit started getting boring. Now I'm out of school, so nothing else to do. So mm-hmm. I went in there, literally. There's nothing not to lose. That maybe we're gonna be good, or I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So. Okay. And uh, being good, then I stuck with it and worked on it. You know how it go. The rest history. So did you drop? Did you drop mixtapes before? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Like I dropped. This is my first one. Oh, my first one was 20 under 20, 30 mm-hmm. but for 30. That was my first project. That was a mixtape. 20 for t- What does that mean? I had 20,000 under 20 years old. Oh, I wow. had 30,000 under 30 years old. Mm. 20 under 20, 30 but for 30. What was what was some of the um because I it wasn't you said you just started music a year ago so I wouldn't I, I wouldn't assume that the money came from your music career what's some of the business ventures that you invested into you know <laughs> you grow a seed you start growing a seed out of concrete and that's mm-hmm. really my story right? I grow a seed out of concrete right? people I don't know like I talk in in riddles. Too, you know. Yes, like, he has been. Yeah, I talk in riddle, so you will catch on to it, man. I think know? I think I need to wait until after I will <laughs> the interview back. And, um, yeah. So, but um, you you, didn't, you wasn't like what was you like a squeegee boy? Was did you? Nah, I was always like kid. Everybody knew like mm-hmm. I always been him. You feel me? Like even in high school, I always been him. I was always gonna get it. Like mm-hmm. no matter what I was gonna do, I was gonna get it. I was really me. Like okay, hell yeah. Talk about some some of the people. Uh, is it some? Is it other people in four four eight, or is it just you? It, it's a it's a movement. It's a movement. Like, we ain't no gang. None of that. It's just it's a, it's a way of life. It's a way we live. It's it's a movement. Mm-hmm. Like 
Now, you see, I was the first one really claiming that they was calling me that in the city. Now, everybody, the 448 now, mm -hmm. people be trying to mimic and copy, but how my camp and me is a way of life, is a movement. Mm -hmm. and, and I talk about more some what, who who are the people around you that that motivate you to start doing music? Like, do you have a one day ones? Oh yeah, man, white boy, mm -hmm. man, I was nothing with this music. Like without him, I probably would have been doing the same thing. But he used to break the business part down to me. Like I used to be like I don't want to hear that shit. But now, like, it, it helped me because with the business, I'm way ahead. Like, I'm ahead of everybody. That's why I'm growing so fast. Mm -hmm. Like, how I carry the business side of it. But A lot of people in Baltimore don't know that at all. Yeah, he, 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 he made me really fall in love with music, like, deeply. Like, I was falling in love with it for the, from the grind. Mm -hmm. But being in the studio for 12 hours and 10 hours, I never did that. I used yeah, to crazy. go for three, do two songs and leave. Like, Man, him started like hanging together every day, like seven days out of the week, twenty. When, when did you When did you meet him? What year I've was been it? new white boy. If we, we was outside. I would I would pour some out for the back. <laughs> Long new white boy. He's, he's gonna yeah. put it in there. Put it in the video. Nah, we um we from the same hood. Mm -hmm. So he been knew me. I was a youngin, but once I came up and we got together, it was all love. It, it was love. You know, love is love. Mm -hmm. like, Locked in. He showed me the game, made me love the game, made me appreciate the game. Mm -hmm. And the time you gotta put in, like he a producer, bro was putting him on time to rap. Like, yeah, yeah, he was. I was there. To I, see was, I was, I was, I was, I was the one trying to interview him this whole time. So I was man. the one. I know how hard it is to get in yeah, contact with. Man, he was, he was, man, he a worker, man. Mm -hmm. Like he showed me what it is to have work at the. Tell me now. You said you said he taught you some of the things about the business side. You don't have to necessarily give away the game, but give away like some 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 key things that he helped you that really helped you progress, for that you can give to other artists starting out in Baltimore. See that what people don't really understand is the time slots of your music. Mm -hmm. Like you can't put this out this week, and put something else out this week. People won't get tired of you if it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things, how you market yourself, you know, like you're a rapper. Everybody love you. You can't be on the block all day. Mm -hmm. You're bringing your value down. Just sitting in your hood on your Being block too all accessible. day. Yeah, right. So it's a lot of stuff he taught me and how he moved. You feel me? Like on social media, you market yourself a certain way. Mm -hmm. That's your money. Mm -hmm. Like you in charge of your bag by how you market yourself. So how I market myself now is all in the bag of what white boy taught me. Like mm -hmm. I, I I take a minute to drop. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm already in the industry because okay. you gotta meet people with yeah. that make them anticipate something. Yeah, yeah. It give you more traffic. I think I think one thing I think one thing that definitely fucked the game up was NBA Young Boy. Now all these yeah. random ass niggas think it's cool <laughs> to drop every week. Yeah, <laughs> Young Boy was yeah, he crazy. Boy. He can do that though. Like, he can do that. He definitely can. He the only nigga yeah. can. So if you watching this nigga and you doing that, you you not Young Boy. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got you gotta. And when you when you when you when you create these slots in between your music, it give you a chance to get better. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? Like instead of you keep dropping the same thing, you gonna think it's cool to keep dropping the same thing. Mm -hmm. But if you drop this month, you don't drop until another six, seven months. Let it, it give you time to progress and get better with your music. Okay, you feel me? Like yeah. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Well, I hope somebody's out there writing it down. This is documented, <laughs> so you'll be able to rewind it back. Um, talk about what, where, where were you when you got the news about White Boy? Say one more time. Where were you when you got the news about him? Man, I don't even remember. That's how I fucked up the day was. I got the car. I don't remember where I was at. I got the car. Go down to the hospital. I went down. I went down to the hospital. You know, the nurses, they be like, if you're not immediate, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, that is a no go. Like, oh, you didn't get there. None of his immediate family was there. You feel me? So I'm beefing with the nurses and doctors and shit. Can't really do nothing. So I'm fucked up in the head. Then I leave the hospital and I get another call. Like he, he ain't making. 
I don't remember where I was at. It was a fucked up time for me, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this, this it definitely definitely felt like it was a it was a it was a cold day in Baltimore that day. Yeah. Yeah. Um I know I know me personally just 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 um me, you know, just talking to other artists that that know that know just just always speak highly of them, you know? Man, bro was a, bro was a hitting gem. Like he was on his way out the door, you feel me? Cause, like a lot of people don't know about white boy. You can stab white boy in his back, literally. He still he going to take the knife out of his back, ask you why you stab him, and give you and, and try to help you even that after you stab him. Like, that's just him, bro. He, that mm -hmm. nigga, is a, he a lover. Yeah. Like, if he going to love you. Like, if you ain't had no shoes, he going to take you to the mall and get you some shoes. If you use a fan on the street, he going to give you something to get something to eat. You feel me? Like, he might even give you something to get the drugs. Like oh, even though he know you gonna get high, he still won't give it to you. Oh, that's, good. that's his heart. Like mm -hmm. he showed me, he showed me how to love people. Like mm -hmm. I ain't really no lover. Like it's fuck you if it's fuck you. Like mm -hmm. I don't care about people that much because mm -hmm. people I've been hurt by a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. But he taught me how I really love people and that you can love. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like without getting hurt. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so more so let's kind of let's kind of shift the shift the um shift the uh, vibe. I want to more so talk about you personally. Can you talk to me about like uh shit? I hit on the tip of my tongue. Uh, do you? I'm sorry. Give me give me a second. Okay, I want to talk about. This shit hard. You got to come up with that shit on your head. No, I had it, I had <laughs> yeah. it memorized. I had a few questions. Okay. Let's just talk about... I, I, okay, I'm going to... It's going to take the time for memory. I was actually a different question. Talk about your first time, you know, when, when, you, when you're, quote, unquote, going viral. Yeah, I go viral. Damn. I went viral like my fourth... My, my third, my second month rap, man. Mm -hmm. I had a song called Pound Talk. I said... Pounds on the spot, I make my mother serve you. Like, oh, shit. yeah, niggas is like, damn, nigga, your mother <laughs> said, yeah, they just check it out that shit. Like, I always say wild shit. So. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the question. What, what, what is the? I want to talk about what is the inspiration behind your music? Like, what is like, what, what is, what inspires you? See, with my music, I like wordplay. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I'm gonna give out the crazy ass wordplay, mm -hmm. but people don't really. People don't really appreciate my wordplay and how I dial how I dialogue my music because what I my image out with music outside of music mm -hmm. is just go underrated on what I say. I got yeah. a big ass vocabulary. Yeah, like, yeah, shit I be saying be crazy. People don't yeah, understand right. it. It's it's like it's like niggas niggas don't be having you got you got dialogue. Yeah, you know what I mean you got you got something to listen to. You don't just have like, yeah, I fuck on your bitch, not leave. Like, it's not. It's more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's actually like t story. Like you can, you can. A lot of people lip music. You, you can't listen to it and like learn shit about them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's definitely what I can say about your music. Yeah, it's just when I be in the studio, then I listen to like, I listen to niggas. You ain't gonna expect me listen to motherfucking J Cole, mm. Kendrick Lamar. Mm. The old shit. That's like, what you be bumping in the car. Yeah, I listen to that. What like, was you bumping on the way here? On the way, I was listening to me. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> I, ain't gonna lie. I was listening. I was listening to me, but so I'm released. Hell yeah! But last night though, I was listening to Jay Z on mm -hmm. the ride home. I I be on Jay heavy, cause Jay Jay kicking it on a, on the level I'm trying to get on, like mm -hmm. that billionaire level. Like I'm trying to get on that. So I listen the way I'm trying to be, the way I'm trying mm -hmm. to go. You feel me, like. Payroll Giovanni, another one. I don't know if people don't know him, but don't know who that is. Y'all gotta go tune in. He from Detroit, but he he a big inspiration on my music too. Mm -hmm. Like, sure he fire. Like, yeah. I'm just happy. I'm just ha you. You don't understand how many times I've done interviews and then, and I ask a nigga what's his inspiration. And nigga be like, yeah, young boy. <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert. I'm like, these are not real people. Like, you can't be crash so dummies, man. <laughs> he crash dummies, man. But how, just give me, give me your opinion. What I do want to ask you about this. It's kind of off topic, but I do want to ask you. How do you feel about uh, the the satanic agenda in the industry? Like, like listening to artists to like Lil Uzi Vert or like Playboy Cardi. Like, what do you think about that satanic shit? 
trash. Not Uzi, because some Uzi work is it, art. art. You feel me? It's so art. I ain't going to take it from Some of this shit is art. It's hard. It's art, too. But Cardi and, and, and Travis Scott and all that shit. Like, what, dude? <laughs> Come on, man. Like, what the fuck is that They need an ass whipping. Hey, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> like, smoke perp, all that. Like, what the fuck is all that? <laughs> Be honest. These are the people that these people pay mm-hmm. to see. You people feel idolize me? these people. Yeah, like. I don't understand it. I ain't taking it away from nobody. I ain't hating on nobody. Cause I'm solidified outside of music. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, I don't be understanding this shit sometimes. Some people be industry plants, mm-hmm. like Sexy Red. Like, I don't understand that. <laughs> like, she cool though. Like, at the ski. Nigga, yeah, I, 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 was, fuck with I was interviewing like, somebody last week and they definitely said, hit me with the my pussy paint my booty. <laughs> I'm like, what you just say to me? <laughs> This is an interview. Hey, yo, man, I don't understand this shit. Some yeah. of these artists getting paid all this money. Like, TikTok, another thing. TikTok ruined rap, mm-hmm. in, in my opinion. Because mm-hmm. the ones with real talent, if you don't, if you, if your shit don't go viral on TikTok, that's 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 mainly what the what the, what the A and R's and everything looking at mm-hmm. is TikTok. Can you go viral? Mm-hmm. Can you make this money this fast? That's, that's what all they, they worry about. At. Yeah, they not worry about art. They don't worry about the talent no more. Like I I talked to I is A and R's been calling me all week. Like it's not about talent no more, but mm-hmm. they appreciate talent when they see talent, but they don't look for talent. Mm. Like that's the problem with the game, I think, right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, I definitely back to that whole satanic thing. I don't know what these niggas on. <laughs> I don't know if it's something in the perks, it's something in that LA weed or something. <laughs> but don't, I was listening to that new little Uzi project, and that nigga was like, I, I cannot, I cannot. Understand. Mm. Have you ever been in a booth and you thought about, let me do that, screaming in the mic no. like that? <laughs> Fuck no, absolutely not. I don't know if. It, we been cussing all. It's album. okay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I good. can't really. Okay. That ain't me, man. Like that's not you. O O T R Chaz be on that, but I don't never scream though. He might up, up his tone a little mm-hmm. bit. Like, yeah, he know that, what O T R Chaz be doing? That's called floating. Yeah, that's yeah, called floating. Yeah. That shit, that little yeah. fucking, that's just straight up Satan. <laughs> yeah, man, man. No, I ain't never. No, I have. Mm-hmm. No, I ain't never think of doing nothing like that. Just definitely wow. Okay. Debut album. Crazy. How big of it is a deal to you? How 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 long did it take you to get this body of work? I dropped my first I dropped I dropped Trap Chant Me and people won't call it an album. It wasn't an album. I was like six months in rap. Mm-hmm. I dropped this a, a project called Trap Chant Me September fifteenth. I just dropped last year. I just dropped Free the Cartel September 13th. Oh, it took a year for me to put out a big project mm-hmm. again. But I did 317,000 streams in seven days, one week. Shit. Yeah. That's so, not all in Baltimore, nigga. No. Nah, it can't be. That's everywhere. You know, celebrities, I ain't going to name drop, but celebrities that I wouldn't even think, look, Hey, hearing me mm-hmm. is like, shorty, you got it. Like, you hard. Like, you going to blow. Stay down. Like, it's crazy. Like, the reaction. Mm-hmm. I, I knew it was going to be crazy, but I didn't expect it to be like this. Like, A&R's label's calling. Like, I ain't understand it. Was, I ain't no, don't sign your shit away. That's the only <laughs> thing I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. Have you been, have, talk about that. Has it, have, you, have you had any offers thrown at you? Hell yeah. All this week, like even before, not labels, but you know, people with money mm-hmm. trying to get a piece of the pie, invest in you early, let you grow and make their taxes off you. Mm-hmm. You know how this shit work out. Yeah. Tell me, tell me some of the things that you, if those people are listening to this video, what's some of the things that you are looking for? As far as a contract, not as far as a contract, mm-hmm. but like more so, like, like as an example, it can be like, oh, uh, like somebody to help me with my artwork or something. Oh, shit. yeah, like, what, do you, what do you look for? What, 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 what can he, what can somebody offer you? I mean, you don't have to tell them all the songs. No, I don't know what I'm, know. What, I'm what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, a group that that believe in me, that believe in what I can do. Mm-hmm. Money is nothing, I got money, like, I don't really need it, I ain't a need. People want more money, but 
Of course, but I ain't in need of it. I ain't chasing the money. I'm looking for people that's, that that believe in my vision mm -hmm. that's going to push me to be, to grow bigger so we all can make the money. Like, I'm a team player. I'm, I'm one of them type guys, you know, like, mm -hmm. not I seen a lot. Not too much impressed me. I ain't impressed by the money. I don't care who on your team. Who you Cause like you said, you had you had twenty for twenty, for 30, for thirty. Like nigga, I wouldn't need no money either. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't really no money now. But that was like I was young. Mm -hmm. Like now it's, it's, it's another level. Like, okay, it's, it's lit. Can't it's it's lit. I'm solidified. You solidified. Like, That's, That's all you gotta say. That's it. That's all you gotta say. Talk to me about what is what is your what is your day to day like? What is you wake up in the morning? Do you make a smoothie? Or like, what you do? What you? What's your day to day? What's your day? You have a routine? Yeah, I wake up. I wake up. I play the game. I might watch a podcast here and there, but I play the game a lot. I'm a gamer. Then I go out. What time? You, what time you waking up on a regular? Cause we not in high school no more, so you don't gotta wake up at no six. No, I wake up like ten. That's that's a comfortable time. 10, 11, not too early. Not yeah, too not too early. Not too late. We got like ten, eleven. Then he came here one day. Was like, yeah, I wake up at three p.m. Oh no, nah, fuck no. You gotta get your shit together. Huh? How fuck, you make money at three. Like. Hey, nigga, I guess niggas be living a nightlife. That's why niggas make that money at night time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell no, I hate night. I be trying to be in the house by like nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Me too. That's why I be trying to tell shorty like, damn, like I got work tomorrow. Yeah. I can't just be out here all late. That shit. Be what games you play when you, when you say you wake up, you play the game, you are mad. You look like you, you giving like very much 2K mad. Yeah, I play the K. <laughs> I'm a K fanatic. I play 2K mad and uh, Call of Duty. Oh, okay. shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You on a P5? Yeah, PS5. Right. We're going we gonna to exchange information. <laughs> yeah. Some shit to talk about. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so you wake up, you play the game, you watch podcasts. What time is it when you finish doing all that? Probably like. Two, two thirty, one o'clock, two, two o'clock around that time, and mm -hmm. I go out, take care of my business, mm -hmm. be back in at nine, nine thirty every day. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a schedule right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what's what's that's are are you are you single? Yeah. Yeah, not, <laughs> and no, I'm, I'm single, hundred percent. I don't know, nigga. You got two phones. I don't trust. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, I'm what's what's something that you? What's something that? What's something? Do you believe in like? Are you gonna? Do you plan on like getting married, starting family, and shit like that? Yeah, for sure. I'm on. I'm on that right now. Like, mm. yeah. If 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 the right one come along, everything, everything, you know, maturity, respect, love, loyalty, there for sure. I'm okay. for sure, I'm for sure. Damn, you scream fucked up, nigga. <laughs> what you do to your phone? That's the work phone, man. Work phone. That's it. You ain't getting any work phone, that's your fuck. No, it's better. It worked? Hell yeah, it worked. Okay, it worked. All right. All right, that's all that matters. Shout yeah. out to Steve Jobs, man. <laughs> oh, this app. You getting that 15? What, the iPhone 15? Yeah. Nah. That's the newest iPhone right here. Okay, See, so like, yeah, you good. I don't really need that. You get, you get to the point in life where it was like, yeah, I'm not, I don't need the latest shit. Nah. I just, that motherfucker, just the answer, that's it. I don't even like being on my phone most of the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm an authentic person. Some people, I watch motherfuckers that can't live without their phone. Like, I can go a whole day without my phone. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I can't now because I'm so big of a, of a rapper now. Do you get in contact? I, I gotta, yeah. You Niggas know. like me. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, I definitely definitely appreciate for you to put up on the podcast. Um. This is, we usually do have a segment where we have cards, never have I ever, you got them over there? That's cool, don't worry about it. I, I can remember a couple off the top of my head. This is, I got some, I got some for you specifically. Never have I ever shoplifted. I had. You, you, you talking about, we talking about like. I'm talking about 7-Eleven, <laughs> the Lord nigga. Okay. Fucked up from the projects, okay. like 15 of us. Uh-huh. Fifteen of us. Fifteen of us. Well, I don't even know that many people to call at one place. Man, fifteen of us. We God coming damn. in there. The people know we on bullshit. We snatched. <laughs> we snatching shit. I'm you had ski masks on back then. Fuck no. We oh. was walking in that bitch bare face. Like, 
Some some of my homeboys got locked in there though. They used to they was getting smart. They used to stand by the door. Uh-huh. We some of us used to bump bum rush them, but mm-hmm. the niggas that still in there, they locked the door. Damn. Police would come. Hey, they let a nigga go. Them niggas, man. Nah, they let a nigga okay. go. We was little kids. Like they they know what we was on. We ain't trying to hurt nobody or nothing like that. Hell yeah, I shot left it though. But but like you, I don't I don't care how much how much money you say. You tell me you can't tell me that you don't be stealing from the Walmart self checkout. Yeah, in Atlanta, fuck yeah, I, I was just killing. in Atlanta, bro. In Atlanta, bro. You don't do it here? No, nah, in Atlanta, I don't even go to Walmart and shit no more. Oh, you 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 repeat that, know, that? Yeah, that's hard. That shit be crazy. Like, how you feel about that attention? Do you like it? Nah, nah, cause I like I got a niece, a little niece. That's my heart. Like I'm always with her. I'm like dad number two. Mm-hmm. So when people walk up, it, it might scare. It's scared. Like. I don't like that. Or, I don't really like it, but I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Like, I I show love. How, you take yeah. the pictures? Fuck yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, hey, I, tell me, has your autograph got game is up? Have you done any autographs? Hell yeah. I like, wish I had a piece of paper. I tested it out. <laughs> hell yeah. I could tell if you know cursive. You be cursive? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, okay. You be, do you cursive like your stage name? Like how do you how does your autograph work? But uh, I put I put Reek. Just Reek. Yeah. Okay. You gotta yeah. put the four four eight on that motherfucker. Nah, uh, man, I don't know how to put right. Four. I don't know how. I don't what think it's cursive like letters. It's cursive numbers. numbers. No, it is. is. Cursive, cursive numbers. numbers right? Yeah, cursive numbers. I don't think so. Uh, I don't. It better not be. I, I feel <laughs> dumb <laughs> if I look back at this shit. Um, um, talk about anything you want to tell the people. Or anything? Mm, keep going. It's like that's all I can tell. Like everybody go through shit. Mm-hmm. But your situation shouldn't define you, you know, like, keep going. I always somebody would have told me that, like, mm. situations used to break me. Like, I used to say, fuck shit. Like, keep going. Mm. It can't be bad forever. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's, a, that's motivation. I hope somebody wrote that down. <laughs> Before we go, I have to ask you. You don't have to tell the people you can whisper it in my ear if you want to, or we can wait till after ear. After air, did the Roddy Racks feature come through? What you mean? The Roddy Racks feature? What about it? Did it come through? Did the vocals hit? You heard DJ Kelly talking about? The vocals hit. What you mean? Don't, Don't you know DJ Kelly, like, the Drake vocals are in? Like, did you get the Roddy Racks feature um, confirmed? Is it in the pocket? Yeah. We, it's on. We got songs on my uh, on my project. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we got man, we got two songs. Man, Roddy got like twenty five unreleased songs. But I'm talking about with you. Yeah, we got twenty five unreleased songs. Unreleased? Unreleased, not out. Oh, so, and we just, so feature is secured. Okay. Oh yeah, man. We, Are y'all close? Fuck yeah, that's that's game, man. We tight. That's right. yeah. Okay, that's all. I mean, it, to me as a fan, I didn't know. I, I, I mean, I should I should have known. I feel like I should have known. Now, <laughs> yeah. I definitely seen a feature in Roddy Rack's shit on your shit before, so I should have known. He was on my first, he was on a Trap Champion a year ago. Sorry, don't fall. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I take it back. The Roddy Rack's feature is in, and 25 more songs is, in fact, coming. What about the, um, any any White Boy beats unreleased? Oh, yeah. Man, White Boy was supposed to put out an EP before he passed. Mm-hmm. I'm going to carry that on. Mm-hmm. Like, to the end of this year, like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give y'all that with okay. major p- promotion. Okay, like, y'all need to listen. I hope y'all listening. I got the exclusive label promotion. Did I get the exclusive? Exclusive. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the ground like exclusive. Like, stop <laughs> what you doing, nigga. <laughs> okay, um, you know, no dates yet. No dates yet. I probably have a date. I'm expecting my uh my daughter next month. Oh wow! Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you. That's man. hard. Appreciate. You. Oh, That's hard. Oh, yeah. That's hard. Well, Any uh, names yet? Yeah, Kalani. Kalani. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, Kalani, man, my baby, my sweet baby. That's beautiful. Uh, I have a date at the next month. Okay. The music already done, bro. Oh like, yeah. Bro, I got. Nigga, you said you been in the studio mm-hmm. 10, 12 hours. That shit better be done. I just dropped 22 songs. I I can at least say I got like 85 unreleased songs now. Damn. So you un- up and coming rappers, 
Uh, don't don't just the first fourteen songs that you make yeah. is not good enough. That's what people be doing. Like I just told somebody this yesterday. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say who I told, but don't put, don't make your music and then put it out. Like make sure you got options to pick. So mm -hmm. when you listening to your music, free free the cartel. I listen to free the cartel for a whole month straight mm -hmm. and critique everything, every song one by one. Took this out, took this song off, put this song on there, it took me. Yeah, that shit's tiring. So it's somewhere it's somewhere in the studio with a whiteboard, ain't it? Yeah. You know, your shit on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, you on it. You, on it. Like, you better be, nigga. The way that shit be sounding, you better be on that shit. So take notes for upcoming rappers. You need you need to you need to, you need way more than just four, your first fourteen songs to make a good album. Hell Can you stand yeah. behind that? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. I, I have you'll be as I was just because they they probably don't know who the fuck I am, so that's why I gotta ask you. Like, yeah, you, he, he stands behind the message. Um, yeah. thank you for coming to the network. Um, you always have a place here if you ever need to get anything out. You you have a place here. Sure. Um, hopefully, yeah. can we do this again? For sure, man. I want I want I want I want I want to interview the second the second debut album, the third debut <laughs> album. I want I want every time you drop an album, you ask need to be right in that seat. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, yeah, we gonna yeah, we gonna do that for sure, man. Okay. Yeah. Well we got it on tape. Man, we do that for sure. I'm a man of my word. I know you are. Like, like I ain't make you go through you like the fans know, I ain't make you go through all the bullshit. I mm -hmm. make niggas go through. I, you had a direct line. Yeah, for real. Like, I had a direct line. I had to talk to no manager, yeah, I ain't had to pay no I holler that. I, I really appreciate yeah. that. Cause I'm a bottom one nigga and I am yeah. broke. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm 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 real humble. Like people don't appreciate that about me. I'm not uh arrogant. Mm -hmm. I can be arrogant. I could. I have every right to be arrogant, but I'm not arrogant. I'm humble. Like mm -hmm. I work with anybody that's willing to work. Mm -hmm. like, if I like, I went on your page. I like. I like. I like the clips. So. Thank you. Um, Yours will be better. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here, man. You know. Um, I fuck with it. I'm gonna fuck with you for sure. Okay, so we have the approval. Um, I'm gonna put this in the. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna clip this up and I'm gonna make it be like, yeah, Blasi Network is the best. You say that shit. It's like I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. But um, we out of here. Twenty million dollar podcast. Thank you for coming again. For sure. And tune in next time.